Welcome back to the channel guys, it is your boy Broncos Guru, and it's another episode of If It Floats, I Boats, where we feature some of the more unique and interesting vessels we'll see out on the waterways. And we'll open off this video today with this vessel here, which is actually sent in by Thomas Becker, and this is his good friend James Baker, who decided he needed a ship to shore boat. He wanted something a little smaller, where he could take to the shore from his other boat. And of course, with the boating market the way it was, they were having a tough time finding what they were looking for and decided they were going to take matters into their own hands and go ahead and build their own vessel to serve these purposes. You ever see something strange happening out on your waterways? So James took a children's Little Tykes boat bed, added fiberglass to the bottom, and this vessel was born, and it actually is a registered boat in the state of Indiana. James then took a 15-pound thrust trolling motor that uses a push-and-pull cable system that attaches to the steering wheel using a chain and sprocket, and it has navigation lights, a custom-built bimini top that can pull out on those sunny days, and to even add to the novelty, the little cannon right here on the front even shoots water. From all the videos they sent me, it looks like a fully functional boat that will absolutely serve all the purposes they were looking for in a vessel, as this will definitely take them from their main ship over to the shore, perfect for him, his wife, and the dog, and definitely has to be a conversation starter when they're out on the water. Definitely a unique build that absolutely serves its purpose. A lot of these vessels, when I see these get sent to me, were all built for a necessity or a need, and there's lots of times when you're out on the water in a boat that you're going to need something that most boat manufacturers just don't think of, kind of like this situation right here, and these images were sent in by Eric Royce, and even though a traditional boat works for him for the most part, one of his biggest problems he has is in order for him to get out from his house to go fishing he's actually going to get this vessel underneath the bridge we just saw and it won't fit stock from the manufacturer so what they actually have to do is load this boat up with water to get it to sit a few inches lower in the water so they can actually squeeze underneath the bridge when they're going out which is a pretty unique idea to solve an issue that required a little bit of outside the box thinking and at first i thought this might be a rare issue but i got a lot of videos sent to me from people having very similar issues similar to alex darden right here as well <laughs> You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Great job, team. Thanks for stopping by and watching If It Floats, I Boat. If you guys ever see anything crazy out on your waterway, whether it's a unique boat or a unique situation or somebody who's got to do something unique to keep their boating lifestyle going, be sure to hit me up on Facebook or Instagram and let me know and you might see your story over here. Just like Alex Darden, James Baker, Eric Royce, and Thomas Beckett did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.